is up guys and welcome back to another day at Whitley Auto Works. Today we start our brand new exciting series, Rust-Oleum Paint Jobs Custom Mixed. And what that is, is you guys get to choose the color, you guys get to choose the pearl, and you have all the power and say so in this. And I'm just going to spray it out and it is what it is. You guys get to drop in the comment, is it fire or is it poo? Hey, simple as that guys. Today's submission is from B. Dilworth 88. I'll put the comment up on the screen. He was the first one to ever comment and say, hey, could you try this crazy combination? It's gonna be smoke gray with a black pearl. Now, I've talked to you guys a lot of times about spotting with bases, salt and pepper effects, stuff like that. And this might turn out awful. I don't know. Either way, you guys get to be the judge and you guys also get to choose what we spray out next time. So I'm gonna try and do this once a week, guys, maybe more, it just depends on the popularity of this. And uh, like I said, that's it's pretty much as simple as that, guys. So we're gonna get started. Let's get to spraying first with our Rust-Oleum Smoke Gray in a can. All right, guys, so the cool thing about these videos is I'm gonna be doing them with a can, so this is something you guys can easily replicate at home. Also, it gives me a lot more colors to just basically go from. You guys can go to Walmart, look at the different colors and say, hey, this color with that pearl. And I'm going to kind of go over more towards the end of the video, the stipulations behind all of this, uh, so you guys will know how to uh, participate. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's get this Rust-Oleum laid down on this panel. So we got our base down guys, we're still in with smoke gray. Man, I think this is probably one of the most popular colors to come out in the past 10 years. Everybody wants glossy shiny primer nowadays, but it sprays out really easy as you saw. This is Rust-Oleum 2X in a can, this offers great coverage. Actually, never mind, I lied to you. That's Rust-Oleum Stops Rust. This is basically the same stuff I've been spraying in the gallons. This is it in the can guys. It's about $5 at the local Walmart if you want to do it. Hey, you can do a paint job this way too on your car. And we might in a future video. But anyways, the cool thing about this, guys, is it dries pretty quick. It's easy to lay on. It, pretty, it sprays out pretty smooth. And hey, we can shoot a pearl over top of it. So let me show you what we got pearl-wise. So before we get to spraying the pearl, as you see, I got a plethora of pearls that I just ordered in, little five gram sample bags that we're gonna be using to do all these products. So basically you guys pick a color pearl that you wanna see. I'm gonna get as close as I can with one of these bags and we'll shoot it over whatever base you decide as well. So you guys start firing off in the comments what you wanna see and one of you guys will get picked depending on your comment for the next spray out and we'll just keep going and going and going guys and like i said your participation is key in this because if you guys fire off more comments it spreads out more you know how the youtube algorithm works and all that mess i ain't going to explain it but anyways that's where we're at guys uh the pearl we're doing today is a black pearl dry that's the color he chose so black pearl it is guys so um i'm gonna get mixed up and with the cheap clear like I said, this doesn't have UV protection, so I don't recommend using this, you know, full scale. This is just for test purposes. So I'm going to mix it up my little gun, shoot it through my little touch-up gun like I got right here. And, hey, I'll show you guys the mix-up, and we'll get to spraying. I 
small gun is quite going to cut it for this project. I've decided to go ahead and just shoot it through the big gun, save myself some time, and uh, let's get it poured in. That way I can do it all in one go. Now let's get it spraying. Alright guys, so as you can see our first custom mix is completely done. Rust-Oleum smoke gray with a black pearl over top. Now this actually surprised me. I thought when you spray a black pearl you'd probably get black, but you actually didn't. You get more of a gunmetal color. So it really just kind of, what it does is it seems like it just tints the, the smoke gray down a little bit. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys be the judge of that. Is it fire or is it poo? Drop me in the comments and let me know. Now, full transparency, I did have a little bit of an issue at first. Um, my pearl load was way too high for the amount of clear I mixed up, so you will probably notice that it did splatter a little bit. It's all part of it, guys. Sometimes you just get in a hurry and you don't think, and mistakes do happen. So, But like I said, full transparency on this channel. We're always learning together. Stuff happens sometimes and you just have to recover, figure out what happened, move on and fix it the best you can. If I had to with this right here, obviously I'd go back wet, sand it off and do the whole process over again. But that's not what this whole process and this whole segment is about. It's about you guys picking colors and pearl combinations you want to see and me spraying them out so you get a good idea without actually having to go out and spend the money. Let me take the hit and you guys just enjoy the footage. But, um, all right, so the way this is gonna work moving forward, guys, uh, Rust-Oleum colors in a can in Walmart. You've seen them all over the place. Basically, what I want you guys to do is just comment a color and comment a color pearl that you think would be a cool combination in the comments. And I'll select one of you guys each video and we'll spray it out in the next video and we'll just keep going from there, guys. You know, that way, you always get something different, but I hope this really helped you out today, guys. I hope you're enjoying this whole video series so far, and I hope it moves the channel forward with some cool and interesting new content. But uh, if you haven't already and you made this far in the video, please hit that subscribe button and drop me a like. It helps me out tremendously, guys. The channel is still growing, and we're getting bigger every day, guys, and I'm going to continue doing stuff like this to help you guys out because this channel is all about y'all and providing information so that y'all can learn from my screw-ups or my successes as we go. So, as always, guys, like, share, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys for watching. I'm John with Whitley Auto Works. Hope you have a great day. God bless, and I'll see you on the next one.